Okay, what is it? I was talking about earlier with... I was saying, mentioning earlier. I am so tired with... 14... Twitter's, like, takes every once in a while about... How the game doesn't teach you anything or whatever. You have to, you know, the game doesn't teach you anything. It's so horrible, yada, yada, yada. And it's just like... My friends had to, and then like, my friend had to tell me this or that or the other thing. Like, I didn't understand anything. It's like, well... How do you think your friend learned it? How do you think your friend learned whatever it is they taught you? Do you think they had to Google it too? And if they do, if you think they did, well then where did the information of Google come from? Clearly somebody paid attention enough... ...to like... ...figure it out based on the information the game gave you. Like... The game teaches- I am so tired of this, like, the game is awful at teaching, like, it's not. It's not. Like, we've seen Hazel, right? Like, I pointed it out the other time, when, uh... They asked me to do a Sura with them, right? So, like, Hazel plays, like, really well. For someone who basically doesn't do, like, hard, like, end game content, and, like, our play schedules don't match up, right? I've barely given them, like, direct guidance. But they're able to figure it out, like, all on their own. Because, like, the game does, like... ...give you enough clues to figure it out. Like, I've never looked up a rotation. The idea that you have to, like, Google to figure out your rotation is absolutely bonkers to me. Like, no. And before anybody's like, oh, but you play healer main, their rotation's only one button. Like, I've played every job. I know how to play dancer and bart, and I know their rotation. What other ones have I done? I, I know the tanks generally. I know at least warrior now, anyway. I haven't played the other ones as much. I know in concept what to do with machinists, but I'm not very good at it. Red mage, I know how to play. Uh, Summoner I know how to play, which I know, I know, yada yada, they've dumbed it down so much or whatever. I know in concept what to do with Monk and Dragoon, I'm just not good at it. And I know in concept what to do with the Samurai, and I've never, ever looked up a single rotation guide. Ever. Because you don't need it, like, the game gives you all this information. I'm going on a rant literally just to make a video out of this, by the way, just, just to clarify. Um... Like I said, like, legit. The game gives you the information. And now, especially after the ARR re rework, after the ARR rework, right? And all the streamlining and adjustments to the old dungeons all the way through to Shadowbringers. All of the symbols and markers and stuff are consistent, right? The game is teaching you through example because okay so apparently what happened is that yoshi p was like we don't intend to change the hall of the novice like we're not gonna make it mandatory like we also like expect there to be like players helping other players and so of course you've got the people being like well the game doesn't teach us or why should i have to do what the you know why should i have to teach the other these players or whatever why is the you know why do i have to do it like because it's a social game, and we should be able to compare notes? Like, for crying out loud, fishing wouldn't be doable at all without people comparing notes. Hold on, let me tell them what the, the next one is. Rag for spec, next. You should be able to get a base understanding of what the game's rota- like, what the game expects of your rotation, and what it expects you to learn and figure it out, that the most part, you look up information to double check your understanding. Or on like really weird niche cases, or like to, to check on like a small detail without having to do trial and error on like, should I do it this way or should I do it that way? Like to double check yourself. I mean, I've told this story about when we got Stormblood, uh, media tour information. Haru was visiting me in Japan, and we didn't get one of those like Wi Fi hotspots that time, right? Haru remembered the information from what we looked at the media tour stuff while on a train with no internet. And he wrote down and figured out his entire Stormblood rotation. And yes, it was correct. 
was pretty much 100% correct. Like, he didn't even have internet. And don't get me wrong, like, I'm not gonna say, like, everybody should be able to, like, figure it out just from, like, bare bones information. I will, like, understand if, like, you're like, well, I don't, like, I, I don't work well with the way the game presents the information, like, for skills and stuff. I can understand that. And there are definitely some skills I look at and go, what? I look at that, like, where's a good big one? There's no good big ones on, on Fisher. Um, well, that's our biggest one, <laughs> I guess. But, like, you might look at that and go, like, uh, what? But, like, it's not, like, you can generally look at rotation. Like, if somebody can look at the media tour information and figure out what a rotation is for a job that's not out yet, clearly the game gives them enough information because all we have to work on is tooltips of a job technically at max level too, right? Like, the game does give you more than enough information. The problem we have is not that the game doesn't teach well. It's that we have players that don't, like, engage with what the game is trying to do. Like, my sibling had no problem figuring out the mechanics, how to play Astro of all things, and what to do. Yeah, they'll get hit off- caught off guard on their first time doing an instance. But like, that's normal? And then they don't get hit again. Like, I did a Sura with them. I've done content with them and I've barely had any like direct hands-on of like, Oh, you should do this. Oh, you need to do that. Oh, the Astro needs- Astro needs to work like this. They figured it out all in their own. Like, the game teaches you the mechanics. Forcing the Hollow of Novice can be, in a way, useful. And of course, if you say, like, oh, like, they have to make it ma like, it's right in your face. And like, well, that clearly isn't enough. Like, people aren't doing it. Like, you can't make them do it. Like, but that if you force them to do it, that doesn't mean they're gonna pay attention to it either. We have people that I'm pretty sure haven't jobs, haven't jump potions and still can't do basic stuff, like, Figure out that when you got hit in that spot, maybe that's not where you stand. <laughs> like, they get hit by something. And they just do it again. I'm... I don't know what to do with that. The game teaches you. All you have to do is pay attention. And I think this is like some sort of like... Like, I don't know, like, yes, there are people that choose not to pay attention, but that's not the game's fault. And the game could... I mean, the game is essentially saying, you need to do these dungeons for the story. And these dungeons, you know, spell out for you what to do. And these people still don't know how to, like, do basic stuff. We still have white mages that just stand there and do nothing in between pulls. We still have people that get hit by a mechanic and... Get hit by it, like, the entire instance. Haru was saying the other day he did Seed of Sacrifice, um, fra which is Shadowbringers content, right? Shadowbringers, the Point X series content. And people were dying to Pyretic. People were getting frozen by ice. That is, like, once, maybe, it happens, you slip up sometimes. But for the love of God, like, you're getting hit. Maybe think about why. Why am I frozen? Oh, it must have been the ice debuff. Like, these are people that, yes, they're bad at the game, but it's not the game's fault they're bad at the game. The game has been trying to shove it in their face for 50, 60, 70, 80 levels. 90 levels. Soon, 100 levels. And these people are just not engaging with it. And you... You know, the whole, like, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Like, we can shove all the guides we want in their face. In the game. And people won't... Engage with it. And... It's unfortunate, and it's really frustrating. But the problem is... We don't punish players anymore. We as a player base, we're almost too nice sometimes. Because... One of my formative ex experiences very early on during Heavensward, I think I've told this story, but one of my early experiences in Heavensward in a dungeon was Stone Vigil. Now, granted, this was it's, a, it's an ARR dungeon, um, right? Stone Vigil, the the one, uh, 
the 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 Ishgard dungeon during 2.x, if I remember correctly. I might be getting the name wrong, but anyway, it was a it, it's it's that like one Ishgard dungeon in a realm we're born, right? I was playing summoner and I had my carbuncle out, right? And just to clarify, during Heaven's Word, Carbuncle had, especially Emerald Carbuncle, had a skill when it was in sick, so it would just use whatever that it would use that would knock enemies back. Okay? So, and that's kind of annoying as a tank, right? Like, it knocks stuff around and it's really annoying to deal with, and you shouldn't be using it, right? I'm fully aware, like, you shouldn't be using it. Um, and while at the time I didn't realize they were talking to me, they were trying to tell me to take Emerald Carbuncle off of Sick. To put them on Obey and manually tell them what to do and not use the knockback. They were trying to and I did what a lot of these people will do. Assume they're not talking about me or not reading it. I, I did read it, but I, I had no idea what they meant. The way they just, they, the way they tried to express it was not clear that they were talking to me and that what they meant since I was still really new at the game. I was in the level 40s, and at least that point, there was only 60 levels. You know, I didn't understand what they meant, and I didn't realize they were talking to me. If I had realized they were talking to me, I probably would have responded. But I did like what you... I did what you see a lot with these players, where they don't respond. They just ignore chat, or at the very least, they're, they're, they're non-responsive. They don't answer you. I did exactly that. And you want to know what happened after, like, a poll or two after they tried to talk to me? I was kicked from the instance. I was kicked from the instance. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I mean, yes, it's essentially... What they kicked me for was essentially minor. But the thing is, their answer was, you're not listening. You're not cooperating. Get out. And they had every right to. I'm actually going to say, like, they had every right and reason to kick me. And I should have been kicked. Because I wasn't cooperating with the rest of the group. I wasn't responding. And yeah, like this is that that should have happened. And I completely agree with their decision. I was salty and confused and bothered and I didn't understand why. But it, they made the right call, and I mean that. But I don't know if any of you guys have tried to kick somebody. Even somebody who's actually 100 percent fucking AFK. I don't know how it is on other servers, but on NA, it is a it is a nightmare. Unless you are like three, four, five people that you actually know. Like, unless you are mostly you and your friends, trying to kick somebody is impossible. I, I, like, it's near impossible. It is near impossible to kick somebody from an instance. And don't get me wrong, I made my, like, beef about the kick options being really bad. Like, I'm not gonna kick anybody. I'm just gonna, like, show. Oh, I, I, oh, I can't kick somebody from boat. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But like the reasons are AFK, offline, harassment, and griefing. I think. AFK of offline, in my opinion, should be the same the same thing. There they should be one option. There's no reason for the two separate ones. Harassment and griefing debates on whether or not like you feel like somebody by not cooperating fits in one of those two. But the thing is Someone not cooperating, saying that they're griefing or that they're harassing you is like magnitudes of difference in terms of like terminology. I I feel like there really should be a like non-cooperative play option. It doesn't sound as mean. It doesn't sound as strong. And it's not like they're necessarily trying to kill you. They're just not playing with you. Y you know what I mean? Like they're not working with the other players. They're like hindering you but like not like griefing griefing you know what i mean i think i've actually like initiated vote kicks while i've been on stream because these players are being non-cooperative and you should be you should be trying to kick people that are not cooperating not just because they're afk or they're offline but i swear like anytime you try to initiate a vote kick people are like oh don't be like that oh why are you trying to kick them well because they're not cooperating with the with the rest of the players here, like... They're hindering our progress. They're hindering this run. 
But the thing is, because this happens, this is so difficult to like push for a vote kick of somebody who's not cooperating. I'll just eat penalty at this point, which is the exact opposite of what should happen. I should not be the one punished because someone else is not cooperating. And I get it. Like, just there is a level of, okay, I should like, I'm not going to kick somebody like immediately for making like one mistake. But like, you can tell a difference between somebody paying attention, but not fully grasping it. And somebody who is just not cooperating and not engaging with the content. There's a difference. And like, if, if you give me like, oh, well, like, my, my house is like really noisy or whatever, or like, I can't really focus, I'm sorry, like, well, then maybe you shouldn't be doing the dungeon right now. I know that might sound mean, but maybe, maybe you should come back when you can, you know, give it the attention that it deserves, because it's not like you're alone here. Oh my gosh. Hi, Alenia. You call me in the middle of a, a rant about gaming. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me give you a shout out. Uh, curl for points. Well, yeah. Because if they're not doing... Like, that is actively... Like, can I handle, like, the Aurum Veil tank not doing the mechanic? Yes. I am capable enough to carry this poor soul. But the thing is... He, they're being non-cooperative. That... I mean, it was essentially the last fight, so it was really hard to kick them at that point. It's really hard to kick them at the last fight. But the thing is, right? Um... They're being uncooperative. That's why I don't want to, like, say it's griefing, because, like, that feels... Again, that feels strong. Reband is a rant tuber. No! Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I think there are ways that the game could improve in teaching players. But if we also don't, like... Literally say to these players, No, you can't do this dungeon if you're not gonna cooperate. Like... We're gonna still keep getting people that, like, don't engage with the content and just die 80% of their way through any piece of, you know, that they can't even... There there are players, I can guarantee you, there are a small... I, I hope it's a small percentage. But there are definitely players out there that, like, can't do a trust dungeon because they will die to the mechanics. They can't do a dungeon with trusts because they will die to the mechanics. And it's like, if they can't do it with the AI because they will die, then I don't want to play with that player. And I should rightfully remove that player from the instance. And they should be. But it's like, it's like pulling teeth to get anybody to kick somebody. Even if the player is literally AFK at the beginning of the Alliance raid, which is insane to me. That should be an easy, like, <coughs> kick the minute it's possible but like sometimes it's not and it's insane like i don't know how to like end this rant besides just cycling back to the beginning but yeah like there are the, the game teaches you a lot more than some of these people seem to think and there's a lot more clues and answers in the game again like there are things that i think it could do better but i think it does pretty well for now, I do think that there'd be so it'd be something really nice to add a um, hall of the what's the word for middle? What was that word people suggested? Um, intermediate. Yes, that's the word. Thank you, Nimelin. Yeah, hall of the intermediate. I think that there could be a benefit of something like that, like for like teaching you how to do a tank swap, for example. I think that's a a an intermediate skill that you'll probably have to do at least a few times. And... What what else? What else? I don't want to say, like, spell and waiting, but like, that's another thought that comes into mind. Like, teaching you how to... Um... Break something down. Like, they give you all the pieces, like, really slow, and then they make it go faster, and then they make it go faster, so that you have to, like, remember the order of operations, you know, literally doing Simon Says. That would be another thing. Or things like... What's another thing? What's, what's, what's the other thing? Like, getting used to moving into an attack, so to speak, when the visual animation is happening. Like, getting people used to the idea that the visual only matters for the first frame. Because that's the thing that's a problem in Asura. You see people... Or, uh... Uh... P12... P12 normal. 
P12 normal, like so many people will get hit by the half room cleaves because they're waiting for the animation to finish. They need to have a way to like, I don't want to say force, but like encourage people to realize that the only the first frame of the animation matters for 90%, 99% of the content. I think that that could be a really good thing to, to add on. I think that there are definitely things they could build an inner hall of the intermediate for. But I think that these are, but I, uh, but I think that the game is already trying to teach it in a more organic way. Unfortunately, some players are failing to pay attention to it. Hold on. Important. Important. No, no. No, no, no. Good. Car good carbies. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>